Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, as you can see today, we're going to unbox something very fun, especially now in the lockdown. Um, I think we can use all the fun that we can get. Hey guys, today a little video, especially for the um, super console video watchers. You guys keep uh, sending us questions and asking us for um, you know tips and help. And although I'm not a, a, an expert on the super console and uh, neither is Mike, but today I decided, since we keep getting questions today, I decided, you know, whatever we can find out, whatever we can discover, whatever uh, solutions that we uh, uh, have so far, we are happy to share them with you. So that's why we're making part two Super Console video. So to start, this is our Super Console. It has an SD card of 256 uh, gigabyte. Um, many of you asked us if the whole SD card is full with games, almost, but there is of course also some space that's needed, like with everything to keep uh, the show going. Every SD card with games need some space for all kinds of different files. So you cannot use literally every bit of 256, uh, 256 uh, 56 gigabyte of space just for games so don't try to clean out the sd card another question was did we clean out the sd card no we didn't we left the compartments on this sd card as it was the only thing that we did is we added our games on to this the, uh, the one remark though that it's um it's so full the it, card it, is so full. yeah coming so full with it, all kind of games we deleted some of the games of which we thought well we're not going to play that and that, those were the majority of the football games yeah basketball football ball, ball games we're not into that so if there is a genre of games that you don't like anyway you can delete those and make space for the genre that you like. That's, I mean, that's logic, like one plus one is two. So um, I'm sure many of you already know that, figured that out. But that was also questions. How do you keep getting uh, more games on this SD card? You can't because with everything in life, there is a max to this. So yeah, so the only thing that you can do is just get off the games that you don't like, delete them. That thing you have to do on your Windows computer to explore the SD card, you have to get on your Windows computer, explore the card just or a, or a Mac, explore the card just like you would explore any other uh, SD card, and just uh, try to find the um, the the file where the, the games are stored, and you know look them up. If you don't know how uh, what kinds what kind of games you want to keep or you don't want to keep, just Try them first out on the Super Console as it's working. So explore them first on the Super Console. Remember Make the names. Huh? Make a list. Make a list, yes. Like. Make a list of things that you don't like. Remember the names. Make a list. And then put this SD card in your computer and explore it. And then delete those games. That's the only way to make space, you guys. And to make space for the other games that you do want to have on here. So... Another thing that we have on here are these Bluetooth pieces. The black one is the, is, the, is the piece that comes with the Super Console where you buy it. They give you two joystick controllers. That's also a combo that you can pay for. Do you want the combo with one joystick, uh, one controller or two? We want with two. So that's the black Bluetooth piece that you see here to connect them. This brown one is if you want to do a little bit extra. Mike got us these controllers. I mean, they do look confusing. They do look like the Super Nintendo controllers, but look what it says on here. It's the best controller out there. The 8-bit do gamepad. Yeah, and this is supposed to be the best controller that's out there right now for this kind of console, uh, consoles that we're talking about. So if you want to do exactly what we do, get this this is the name we're not sponsored we paid for this with our own very hard earned money just get this 8-bit do and get this controller yeah and set them one, up in order to uh, to use this controller with uh, the super uh, console yeah uh, you need to have the bluetooth dongle and that's the thing that's sticking out there the brick the plastic brick thingy in your hand yeah 
That's it, yeah. yeah. No, I already, yeah. It's I already... a separate purchase. Yeah, so that's what I said. So get this thing, get this, you have to get this thing. You cannot get, you cannot use the same Bluetooth thing that uh, they provide you with. Get also this thing. I mean, it's so clear and it's so significant. You can just find it when you type the name on Google. And these two go together, the brown and the controller, and set them up, okay? So, so far, the outside of the Super Console. I think we've had everything so far. And then, of course, you know, um, you have here your HDMI cable and the power. And this is the Ethernet cable we don't use. Uh, those of you that like to do a uh, shared gameplay, yes, you can hook this up on your Elgato. I'm still using the Elgato. I know other stuff came out in the meanwhile, but I still love my Elgato HD60. It does the work, and that's exactly what I'm going to be using to share with you some footage from the actual console also. So, so for the, the Elgato... People that want to use Elgato to capture gameplay, HDMI that goes into the Super Console is the one that goes to your computer. See? So the one that comes out of Super Console goes to your computer. If you have a Mac, you need one of these pieces to connect them. Okay? The one that comes from your TV is the one, the cable that goes on the other side next to the HDMI uh, logo. So that one is the TV. And this one on this side, this is where you connect your super console and your computer. And then the other one is of course just the power and the other one is, um, wait, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, no, sorry. So this little cable, this little cable, this one, that's the one that goes to your computer. This HDMI cable on this side next to it, this is the one that you connect one side here, one side to your super console. And on this side, you connect the H HDMI that comes from your TV and you're all set. And then you need the uh, Elgato app right here. And there it is. See? There it is. Works, as you guys can all uh, tell. So about the controller, if you want to use this controller, first you need to turn it on, of course. But before that, it always goes into some sort of a sleep mode. So you always need, if you haven't been using it, you always need, after you turned off on the Super Console, you always need to turn this on and off. See, the concept reset itself. And then turn on your controller. And it should tell you here if you turned it on properly or not. I know you guys can see it because it's bright daylight, but the, when it stops flickering, that's when you know that the game controller is properly connected to this piece, okay? That is if you want to be using this, and it's actually the same thing with the other uh, uh, Bluetooth controllers. So the light must not be flickering anymore. So the fact that you see here four places where light can be, uh, uh, you know, a lit up means that you can add up to four controllers to the Super Console for games that are, of course, compatible. But if you're new to this, you probably won't be having this one already. You're going to be having this one that they provided you with in the package. So take this one. Take the Super Console, use only what you are provided with when uh, you get it out of the box. So it's this Bluetooth piece. Put it in there, it doesn't matter where, put it in there. Make sure you have batteries in your controller. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. You need these batteries, smaller ones, okay? Make sure you have batteries in there and then turn it on right here. As soon as you turn it on, 
a lamp, a red lamp will uh, light up here and you get the indication that you're good to go. So they're now connected on a very basic level. So once you set up the controller in the basic way that I just showed you, automatically on default, it will be A is you want to go into a menu, B is you want to come out of the menu. So I think we got all of this out of the way. Now let's get into the Super Console itself. Okay, so now you guys, now, I'm sorry about the dust. Now you guys, we are in the game menu. If sometimes you don't come into this game menu that you wanna see, that you wanna get, just take out the SD card, turn it off and uh, insert the SD card again and then turn it on again. So it means that he didn't recognize the SD card, okay? So if you don't get into the game menu, the one that I'm showing you right now on the background, on your screen, just take out the SD card and insert it again. Just make sure that it's it, it makes a connection there. And then start it, again, start it up again, and then it will lead you directly to the Super Console game menu instead of the home menu with all the apps and all that. So now your Super Console is on, you are in the right menu, see right there? But you wanna set up your controller. First thing you wanna do is hit the start, start uh, button. So again, you guys, you will see that by default, to enter into menu, you must enter B, and to get come out of a menu, you must enter A. So B to go in, a to come out. That's how it's set by default. At least ours did when it arrived. So that menu, okay, that says button names are based on Super C uh, Nintendo controller. That's that's why this will make things um, easier for you if you get this controller. And especially if you're known with the Super Nintendo controller, this will be like coming home. So just remember what the Super Controller buttons did and just copy that when you're doing the setting for this controller. So the D-pad up, down, left and right, that's this, this is the D-pad. So this is up, this is down, this is left, this is right. You just select them and whatever you select, what it says, just do it. So when you select D-pad up, press up. When you select go down, you know, with this, do D-pad down, select down, and so on, and so on. Just, just see where you are, what you select, and just do what it says, you guys. Really, it's that easy. So it says start, now I'm start, then now I'm going to press start. So again, select button, east, south, north, west. That is east is B, south is E, north is Y, and west is X. Now, right shoulder, that's this, the upper one, that's one. And then left, uh, so left shoulder, that is one. Right shoulder, that is also one on this side. And then the left trigger, that is two, and the right trigger, that is two. See, just copy whatever you read. So this is the left thumb, this is the right thumb.
So now you have the analog up, down, and all that. These are the analogs. So the left analog is this one, and the right analog is this one. So again, analog up, down, left, right, and then do the same with the right analog. So for the hotkey, like it says, when you don't have a special hotkey, that, 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 you know, it means a different controller, then they suggest you should just select, uh, 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 insert select. So push the button select. So we just saw the option, pair a Bluetooth controller. Like I said, if you go out and get one of these, get one of these Bluetooth pieces that come with it, you might be able to use that option, pair a Bluetooth controller for this one. So let's try it out. First, I'm gonna stick this into here and then take it from there. So guys, uh, best thing to set this one up just to save you a, a longer video that's not needed. When you buy this, there is a manual that comes with it and it works perfect. So to start up the controller, press start plus B, both uh, buttons, and then it will turn up. But uh, yeah, just uh, uh, we would say just read the manual because the manual actually works that comes with this. If sometimes he doesn't pick up the controller, make sure you reset this thing by pressing this little button right here. And then just follow the instruction as you're told in the manual that comes with this one. So guys, the only thing that I did is that I inserted this Bluetooth in there, pushed that little button on it, and then started up the controller by start and B at the same time. And then I did pair a Bluetooth controller and it works. So look, you can see on the TV. See, that's all. Sometimes it can be a little bit easier. So if you still want to configure it, this controller also, you can just go back to the configure it a controller menu and just do the whole thing all over again like we just showed you. So then there was someone that asked us about the resolution, the screen resolution of your super console, because it looked funny on your TV, you said. We had the same problem and this is how we solved it. So first, take out the SD card because you didn't... First switch it off. First switch it off, yes, I always forget that. Switch it off like this. There it goes. Then take out the SD card because we do not want to go into the game menu, but we want to go into the setting of this thing. So now start it up again and wait for it to jump on the setting menu, the apps and all that. And we'll see it right here on the screen as I capture it because it's just much better. So let's, let's switch to the screen capture. So guys, one last thing that I want to say about the controllers. One of you asked us, because we have them too, the original Super Nintendo controllers, the Sega controllers. One of you asked us um, if we have a way of how to connect these to the Super Console. Like I said, the Super Console has only the modern, uh, how do you say that, um, openings for modern cables like Ethernet, like HDMI, and the power. 
And then here on this side, uh, the USB uh, for the Bluetooth and all that. So there is, there are two USBs. So, but then this is Sega. I'm sorry, this is Super, Con uh, Super Nintendo controller. This is Sega. So there is no way to connect these to the Super Console unless you have, uh, I don't know, unless we missed something and uh, that's very possible. We are no like super experts or anything at all. But all that I know is that if you wanna connect something to the Super Console, it's either USB or Bluetooth. And for the USB, you can have multiple controllers. For that, they advise you to buy this thing right here. And I think it comes also in the package. I don't, I don't remember, it's been a while since I unboxed ours. But uh, other than this, I don't know. So I cannot, those of you that ask this, if we know way, we don't know guys. If you mean literally like the retro controllers with the cables, we have no way for that. But I'm sure just like with, um, just like for the real Super Nintendo controllers, we now have this one. I'm sure the I'm sure there are fans that made the Sega version or yeah, other versions. No, I'm not really sure. So guys, what you sometimes see is that after you did the configuring, uh, the setting up of the controller, sometimes when you play the game, it's kind of switches somehow. So instead of, um, how do you say that? Instead of, uh, 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 having A for jump. Look, instead of having A for jump, now A is for punching and B is for jumping. The same thing goes when you want to open a menu. Uh, you open it by B and you leave by A. And sometimes that switches. I don't know how. I looked it up online and a couple of uh, other people have the same problem. You know what? I'm not gonna make uh, myself crazy about everything. Just go with it as soon, as long as it's working and it is working. Look, he can walk, go back, duck, punch, jump, I'm good, okay? So now you guys know how to select a game, enter a game, but how do you leave a game to go try another game? That one is still a little bit awkward because to get out of this game, you have to push, let me do it here so that I can show you the background as it's being filming here, right here. You have to push these sticks together at the same time. Look. And then you get this menu. Okay. So when you get this menu, just, just go to, let me see. Just go to close content. See, if you have another language, you don't know what I mean, that just one, two, three, the third one. So one, two, three. That's how you close the game. And then you can try other games. Let's see if that works. Again, with the B button, we're gonna do B and then go to the main menu. So if you guys find another way to do this, let me know because that's still uh, something that I cannot really fully accept. Me and Mike think it's still strange to do all this effort to get out of a game. It, you know, it just it's just, I don't know. I mean, it's not that much of an effort, but you guys know what I mean. It, it is a little bit of a, a fuss. So, so if you have a, a solution for that, please let us know if you have a much smoother way to end a game and continue to another game.